interessante, gente, é que... Uh, it's a great pleasure to welcome uh, President uh, Martelli uh, up here to the Oval Office. Uh, you know, our two countries uh, really brought about uh, the trend towards independence in the Western Hemisphere, and uh, we've had a long-standing relationship for many years. Uh, the bonds between our two peoples uh, are extraordinarily strong, including the contributions made by uh, Asian Americans uh, who all walks of life made uh, enormous contributions to our own country. Uh, obviously, uh, over the last several years, uh, our relationship has been shaped in part by uh, our desire to help uh, maybe rebuild after the devastating earthquake that took place. Uh, we're now at the four-year anniversary uh, of that tragic event uh, that devastated such a large portion uh, of Haiti, uh, not only Haiti, but uh, also devastated the Haitian economy. Uh, the good news is that uh, because of not just the mobilization of international support, uh, which the U.S. helped to lead, but also because of a strong uh, leadership from the Haitian people themselves and uh, President Martelli, uh, we've done to see progress. Uh, the economy is growing, security is improving, uh, infrastructure is uh, getting rebuilt, uh, rubble has been removed, Health facilities are beginning to open up. Right? Schools are starting to get back into place, and businesses are starting to return to Haiti. Uh, it's been a very slow and difficult uh, process, uh, and I think we are all recognizing that we have a lot more work to do. Uh, but my main message today to the president and to the people of Haiti is that uh, the American people are committed to standing with you in this process. Uh, we want to make sure that. Uh, all of the children of Haiti look forward to uh, lives of opportunity and prosperity and security. Uh, and I'm very encouraged by the fact that uh, Haiti has now made progress on uh, an election law that could ensure uh, elections this year, uh, help to resolve some of the political uh, roadblocks that have uh, stalled some progress uh, in the country. And I appreciate the President's efforts on that front. I'm looking forward to hearing uh, where we can help in other uh, reforms that I uh, know he cares about, uh, in such areas as human rights, and, uh, prison reform, uh, the judiciary, dealing with uh, issues of corruption uh, that uh, are inhibitors to progress in any country, uh, including ours. And uh, we will continue uh, to stand by uh, Haitian democracy. Uh, Haitian leadership and Haitian people uh, in uh, this slow and steady progress uh, that needs to take place. So, uh, Mr. President, welcome. Uh, we're very uh, proud of our relationship with Haiti and we look forward to deepening it in the years to come. Thank you, Mr. President. I'd like to first thank the people of the United States, the government, and you, Mr. President, for always standing by the Haitian people. I would also like to acknowledge the presence of the First Lady, Michelle Obama in Haiti, and her for I'd like to thank her for her support also. Through this meeting, Mr. President, I hope we have a chance to discuss matters pertaining to security, security in Haiti, security in the region, our ability to fight together narco traffic, and of course, the talk also about my engagement in building a strong democratic state. So thank you for hosting me. It's an honor to be here. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you for your time. All right, thanks. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody.